If your games feel sluggish, your frames keep dropping, your CPU is silently bottlenecking your entire system. Most people overlook this, but Windows is filled with hidden settings and background limitations that choke your processor's true power. In this video, we're unlocking every layer of your CPU's performance potential, step by step. No fluff, no outdated tricks, just pure system level optimization designed to eliminate bottlenecks, boost your CPU speed, and finally let your games run the way they were meant to. Let's get into it. What's to with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Disable core parking to unlock full CPU power. Modern Windows systems come with an automatic CPU saving feature called Core Parking. While this sounds good for power efficiency, it's actually one of the hidden reasons your games stutter or drop frames, especially on low-end CPUs. Core Parking temporarily disables certain processor cores when they're not in use. But when you're gaming, this causes inconsistent CPU load distribution, sudden FPS drops, and input delay. In this step, we'll fully unlock your processor by making sure all CPU cores stay active all the time. To do this, to apply it, open the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. This step is necessary because registry changes won't apply correctly without full access. Now, copy the registry path provided in the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top. Press enter to jump directly to the correct location. On the right side, you'll see a DW word entry named attributes. Double click on it and set its value from one to zero. After clicking OK, you've just unlocked the hidden core parking option. Next, locate the max value in the registry editor. Click on it, select modify, and set the value data to 100% to fully utilize your CPU's performance. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. Then, find the minimum value, modify it, and set it to zero. Again, set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. After applying this tweak, Windows will no longer park your cores during gameplay. You'll experience faster CPU response, more consistent FPS, and much smoother multitasking during gaming sessions. Step 2. Apply deep CPU optimization using custom tools and the tweaks. If your games still stutter or your CPU doesn't feel responsive, it's likely because your system isn't tuned for performance at the core level. Most gamers don't realize that Windows ships with generic settings that favor power savings over real-time performance. This step fixes that by using my custom CPU optimization pack, which is built specifically to boost CPU scheduling, responsiveness, and real-time game handling. To begin, visit uptopacks.com. You'll find the direct link in the video description. On the home page, click the FPS Boost tab. Scroll through the packs until you see the one matching this video's thumbnail and title. Click it and your download will start instantly. No waiting, no ads. Once downloaded, open the folder and go to the CPU Priority section. Inside, you'll see two subfolders, Intel and AMD. Pick the one that matches your processor. If you're using Intel, open its folder and run the registry file inside. AMD users should do the same in their folder. These registry tweaks adjust how Windows prioritizes CPU tasks, focusing more performance on game processes. Next, open the CPU optimization folder within the pack. You'll find multiple fine-tuned files designed to adjust how your CPU handles background services, thread scheduling, and power behavior. Install each file one by one and carefully follow the instructions. Every registry file in this set has been tested to improve low-level CPU handling, reduce latency, and help your processor maintain better performance under load. Now, install the quick CPU tool that's included in the pack. Once installed, launch the software. From the drop-down, select Ultimate Performance as your power plan. This disables all power saving limits and allows the CPU to push itself fully during games. Then, scroll down to the core settings section, set core parking to 100%, 
performance to 100%, frequency scaling to 100%, and turbo boost to 100%. This tells Windows to stop limiting your CPU, allowing it to stay active, run faster, and dynamically boost when needed. Click Apply, then OK to lock in the changes. Finally, go to the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Make sure Turbo Boost is enabled. Also, turn on Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, EIST, which helps your CPU handle power and workload more efficiently. Below that, enable all options under Turbo Power Limits to give your CPU more headroom when it's under pressure during gaming. After doing this, Quick CPU will continue running these optimizations in the background. You'll notice smoother gameplay, stronger FPS consistency, and a much more responsive feel, especially in CPU heavy games and multitasking scenarios. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Disable unnecessary permissions and features to free up CPU power. Many hidden background processes in Windows are linked to permissions and features that most users never use, but they still eat up CPU cycles. These permissions allow apps to track your usage, collect data, or stay active in the background without offering any real benefit to gaming performance. Disabling them not only reduces CPU workload, but also minimizes unwanted interruptions during gameplay. This step is all about stripping away what your system doesn't need so your processor can focus entirely on delivering smooth, lag-free gaming. To get started, click the search bar on your taskbar and type privacy and security, then select it from the results. Once the window opens, look under the Windows Permissions section. Start with the General tab. Here, you'll find options like Let Apps Use Advertising ID, Send Microsoft Info About How I Write, and more. Turn all of them off, as they only serve tracking and data collection purposes. Now, move on to speech, typing and personalization, and diagnostic and feedback. In each of these, disable anything related to speech recognition, cloud-based suggestions, or feedback uploads. These services constantly run in the background and use both CPU and internet resources, completely unnecessary for gaming setups. Scroll further down to the App Permissions section. You'll see various permission categories like Location, Camera, Microphone, Voice Activation, Contacts, and Calendar. Open each one and disable access entirely, especially if you don't use these services for gaming or productivity. For example, Location should be turned off if you're not using GPS-based apps. Similarly, features like Messaging, Radios, or Email Permissions can be disabled for better efficiency. After completing this step, you'll notice your system feels leaner and more responsive. By eliminating useless background processes, your CPU will have fewer distractions and more headroom to focus on gaming, leading to better FPS stability and improved system efficiency overall. Step 4. Optimize Windows Startup to reduce CPU bottleneck. One of the most common causes of CPU bottleneck is background clutter programs and services that automatically start with Windows and continue to eat up your CPU in the background. These hidden processes silently consume resources and delay how fast your CPU can respond during gameplay. 
In this step, we'll clean up your startup to ensure your processor focuses entirely on your games instead of unnecessary tasks running in the background. Start by clicking the Start menu, typing msconfig, and opening System Configuration. Once inside, go to the Boot tab, then click Advanced Options. Here, you'll see an option called Number of Processors. Enable it and set it to the maximum value listed. Now, this tweak doesn't directly improve FPS. It's mainly used for diagnostics and has minimal impact on gaming, but it won't harm performance and is safe to activate. Click OK to confirm. Now, for the actual optimization, go to the Services tab. At the bottom, check the box that says Hide all Microsoft services. This hides essential Windows services so you don't accidentally disable something critical. Go through the remaining list and uncheck any services you recognize as non-essential, like third-party updaters, streaming software auto-start entries, or background sync tools. Once done, click Apply to save your changes. Next, go to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. In Task Manager's Startup section, you'll see a list of programs that launch with Windows. Right-click on each one you don't need, for example OneDrive, Discord, Spotify or Auto-Updaters, and select Disable. These apps can always be opened manually when needed, but stopping them from auto-starting will free up CPU cycles for your games. Once you've disabled all unnecessary startup apps, close Task Manager, click OK in MS Config, and choose Exit without Restart for now. After completing this step, your system will boot faster, run lighter, and your CPU will have significantly more breathing room. During gameplay, you'll notice better performance, smoother multitasking, and reduced bottlenecks caused by hidden startup apps and services. Step 5. Disable power, throttling to uncap CPU performance. Windows comes with a built-in feature called power throttling, which is designed to save battery by limiting CPU performance for background apps. While this might help on laptops, it severely restricts your processor's ability to run at full speed, especially during gaming or other high performance tasks. In this step, we'll completely disable power throttling using a hidden setting in the group policy editor, ensuring your CPU is never artificially slowed down again. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. In the text field, type gpdit.msc and press enter. This will launch the local group policy editor, a powerful Windows tool that lets you modify advanced system behaviors. Once inside, navigate to the following path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system now, scroll down and click on the power management folder. Under this, select the power throttling settings option. On the right hand side, you'll see a setting called turn off power throttling. Double click it to open its configuration window. Set it to Enabled, then click Apply, and finally hit OK to save the changes. What you've done here is tell Windows to stop restricting your CPU based on power saving profiles. Disabling power, throttling allows your processor to run freely and consistently, even under load, instead of being capped when Windows thinks you don't need full power. Once this is done, your CPU will now operate at its full potential without being slowed down by background power limits. You'll immediately notice better performance in demanding games and smoother multitasking, especially when your CPU and GPU are working together under pressure. Alright, that's it for today's guide. Your CPU is now optimized, faster, and ready to handle any game without bottlenecks. If this helped, drop a like and subscribe for more performance tweaks. Stay sharp and keep gaming smooth.